Hey guys, I'm on here tonight to show a couple people who have asked how I make my forum signatures. This is just going to be very basic. As you can see, I'm starting with a width of 400, height 150, background. Start with white. I'm using pixels. Okay. So there's our background. Fill it with black. You must already have a render chosen. Go to renders in Google and find something, whatever you like. I'm just doing a basic tutorial today, so I'm not going to pick anything special. As you can see, very basic got a black background right now and my render on one separate layer. Almost everything I do is going to be on a separate layer so that you can change it up, mix it up, etc. And for the first image, let's give it a duplication. Hide one of the duplications there. As you can see, I click the eye. Get rid of it. We want to reselect the bottom one and you want to hit control T. Now I'll let you resize it either that or you can select the selection tool hold shift resize to keep it you know looking together like it always was. Not all stretched out and etc. So now we've got to resize a little bit we want to give it some artistic challenge to it. Uh, let's see. All sorts to choose from. Play around with it. The definition. Smoothness. Don't need it too smooth. Okay. So that doesn't look very good, does it? But when we get to the finished product, it'll look amazing. Alright, in front of that you want to make a new layer. So we're holding, having this one selected and clicking new layer button right here, create a new layer, give you a layer right in front of it. We still have the army man copy hidden. In our new layer we're going to select a brush. Hopefully you've got some brushes downloaded. Go over here I've got tons of brushes. Let's see. Party brushes. Let's see what we got in there. Not bad, not bad. But not what we're going for. Hyper brushes. That looks better. Something with texture. Okay, chosen a brush. We want to change a few effects on the brush here. And change direction of the brush. Let's see, point is up, point is down, flip your Y, etc. What we're going to change is here. size jitter there we go tone it down a little bit on that side color if you want to change the color there's some texture effects as well give it a little bit of texture on this one not too much though. Okay, now that we've got that, resize it. Pick a color. You want something that mixes with your render. So, first color we got. And 
if you get too much, take a step back, retry. Boom. Okay. Now make a new layer. You want to change your color. We'll hide this one first. Then we'll choose our new color so that we can pick something right out of here. Maybe a nice green from his camouflage. Let's get that other brush that we had just to change it up. Hey, that's a face, isn't it? Oh, that's scary. And let's get rid of the faces. Those don't work very well, but this other brush should be able to work. Shape dyna dynamics on again. And we'll just start at the bottom and work our way across. Work our way up. Let's get rid of a couple. The eraser. Anything you don't like, just get rid of it. Alright. Add that back on there. See how well that goes together, but we're going to make it a little bit better. Bring him up inside. Hide this guy again. You can kind of see him in there. Just change the effect on this one. Pin light hides it a little too much. Saturation, you can't see anything. Overlay, not bad. Alright, now you want to look, see where your guy is, line things up, this one, take the opacity on, just so he's hidden a little bit more, 